Hey guys, I'm here with uh, our patient Axis. We're going to call him Axis because he's a deer hunter and he's going uh, hunting this weekend. He's going to shoot at some Axis deer, right? Yep. All right, so we're going to treat. You have some warts on your fingers here. We're going to treat. Uh, we've already used the Podophyllum. We already tried the uh, the gel. Did you get the gel or was it the solution? The solution. The solution. And you used it for the three cycles. Um, you know, three days on, four days off. Not three cycles, but weekly cycles, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, did that several times and just no success, huh? Correct. All right, you know what I want to go on a trip? We have this new macro lens. I want to get a close up on these for everybody. So I'm going to stop for a second and put on the other lens. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's fairly disgusting looking. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it Let's on try another one, the big yeah. one there, yeah. Ooh, that is awful looking. Yeah. That's what a wart looks up nice and up close. All right, we'll take this off. I thought that'd be fun to look at. Lens. Ready? Okay. Oh, you want to use the uh, tripod? No. Okay, go. You go Turn it on. You know, we're not going to use the tripod because this is a pretty quick procedure. This is, again, this is Axis, and he's got some common warts here. We did a little close-up on these, so we're going to freeze them. And, uh, well, are you ready? I guess. All right. <laughs> Don't crash. And... I told you don't cry. Don't cry. He's not crying. He's not crying. He's uh he didn't watch any of the football games this weekend. Gonzo, did you watch any games? No. No. I want to go eat at Fadi's. What else you got? You got another and, one? And uh that little one? Right Teeny tiny one right there. Right there. Hold that camera still, little Gonzo. Yeah. I did not watch a single down of any football games this weekend. So to recap, today's the 25th of January. Yesterday, the Broncos beat the Patriots and the Panthers beat the Cardinals. So I'm gonna now announce my pick so all of you out there can go place your bets. Straight up win, Carolina is going to beat Denver. That's my prediction. I think so. You think so too, yeah? I'm Axis thinks so. your face. I was about to turn it and change our mind. Yeah, we, yeah. All right, let's uh, stop for a minute. We're going to let those thaw, and then we'll freeze them again. All right. So to answer your question, you just asked a question um, before we were uh, filming, you know, what, what happens with these. These will get angry and red, and they'll, they'll swell a little bit, and then they'll sort of dry up, and they should peel off. Now, here's the problem with, uh, with these warts. Are you ready for another treatment? Yep. Sometimes... Sometimes these dudes are a lot deeper than you think they are, okay? Which may be why, I know that stung, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it almost kicked me. The, uh, it is probably the reason why these did not just, the uh, they didn't just go away with the pedophilin treatment, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, which is an antiviral therapy. Now, typically speaking, the reason why some people get warts and some people don't, and we're all susceptible to getting these when we're young, but at, for most of us, at some point, uh, our immune system turns on and it just eliminates these, okay? The body, right. is, the body is not recognizing these warts as being foreign tissue because they're not completely foreign, right? They're just changed by the virus. So your body's immune system hasn't caught on that, hey, we don't want these things. But eventually it will and you'll stop getting them. Okay. Sometimes the act of freezing them is enough to, to generate an immune response. Sometimes... Uh, just treating them with something, just continuing to apply something is enough to do it. But uh, in your case, even though we use the medicine, uh, they're still there. So hopefully this will work. If they, if it's not completely gone in a couple of weeks, then next time I see you, we'll do another treatment. They'll okay. be a lot smaller then too. Gonzo, any questions? Can I go home? No. And who are you? Who are you rooting for in the big game? I guess the same people you are. Carolina. Yes. All right. Good deal. Thanks, bud. We appreciate it. Snoopy, is that okay? Yeah, that's all right. Mr. Snoopy, are you okay if we video your procedure for YouTube and yeah. the entire internet and everybody in the world to see? Yeah, absolutely. And we have Dr. Gonzo today. Only charge thousand an hour. That's fine. You can just uh, <laughs> send a bill. All right. Dr. So Gonzo is going to try to take some stitches out. What happened to his fingers? Yeah. What did happen? You have to tell us the story. Well, putting, your, putting your hand in other people's business, weren't you? I smashed them. You smashed them? How'd you do that? A couple pieces of metal. Oh. Well, you're doing something that your wife told you not to do and you still did it anyways. Probably. Look at that. Little Gonzo. I she thought I suppose I'm old. Now his son told to do do anything. not to do it. And he did it. <laughs> well. What? Oh, 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 what do you mean? What's this how men are thing? What's going on back there? Don't be man bashing in here. No. 
Hey, you don't. Uh, Adventurous. Doing something all the time. Look at her take those stitches out. I mean, take those off for right now. Hey, doing the camera can be fun too. It is fun. Hey, my run off, Bill. We have run out of memory before. That we have. It's not fun. Alrighty. Don't flake me you can off look either. Look on the camera and see what. See what happened. See what's happening there. Yeah. So you were uh, we're doing some metal work, huh? Well, I was unloading this cool thing out of a oh. pickup truck. Mm hmm And it slipped down. It was metal in the back of a pickup truck. Yeah. And it smashed it together. And what a smart thing to do. Mm hmm What's but the, you know, everybody screws up now and then. Well, I've heard, <laughs> that. I've heard that. So what was the metal for? It's a dolly. Yeah, a dolly. That's what it was. Was it a steel dolly? Yeah. Okay. Well, how old a fella are you, Mr. Snoopy? He's 15. <laughs> you can't ask for that. Nobody's age. That's... I can, too. Well, you can, but you should. So, since I'm the nurse on this job, I can ask age and demographic. Okay. Have a little trouble getting that finger. Get him to bend it for you. There. Yeah. Come on. What are you... I can't see a thing. There it is. Can I get the last two on this one? She's doing pretty good for a visually impaired person who's not wearing her glasses, isn't I she? know. I forgot my glasses and my contacts. Yeah. Good thing she's farsighted. Mm -hmm. Or is it nearsighted? Which one are you? I'm nearsighted. Look at that. Okay. That's pretty well healed right there. One we'll finger down. A, one finger down, one to go. I think what we'll do is we'll just put a bandage on that when he's when you're done. That looks like it's healed real well. Looks like you had a good doctor and this yeah. has healed very well. Okay, let's yeah, get the next yeah, one. It was, uh, it was fun. It was, was fun. He? Very calm. Yeah, there's stitches under those stitches down inside. He had some deep well, sutures. Well, then that one there, there's some, there's some deep I ones. think those are going to mm -hmm. fall on their own, though. Yeah, you said those would, those would absorb. Right, said. right. They just melt sometimes, usually. Gonzo, what are you doing this weekend? Celebrating Mr. Gonzo's achievement. That's right, he graduated. Yeah. Am, I, She's am, I, am I not giving you enough uh, room or something? What, what, you don't like me being close or something? No, like that breath? What's the deal? Ooh. I was trying to move my hand. This one opened up the, the wound. That's okay. Take it out. We'll dress it up. Okay. So when you, that particular wound is right across the crease of the, the, the finger joint there, so that's something that can happen. But underlying, it's okay. And we'll put a bandage on there. You'll do just fine with that. Yeah, it's only been six days. Ooh, I got two in one. You did good. Yeah. Did you put any Neosporin or any ointments on that? Any, what, Neosporin? Triple antibody, three yeah. times a day. Three times a day. Wash with antibacterial. Yeah. That could be part of the reason why this one didn't heal very well. Why? Well, sometimes when you put ointment on it like that, it works its way down into the wound and it prevents healing. Oh. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to steri-strip this one for you. This one, you're healed. We're going to do dressings on it. It's okay. This one, we need a steri strip. Then. Yeah, see, this one here did not heal very well. So we're going to go ahead and use a little tincture of benzoin. This is a, this is the sticky stuff. What does that, what does that do? It's sticky. It's going to make your fingers sticky. So these little strips here will hold on better. It's got kind of an unusual odor. I got some stuff I want to glue at the house. Does that work? You want to use some duct tape or something instead? I was going to do that on these, but she made me go to the doctor. Well, that's the way women are. They're going to make you get the kind of help you ought to get because they love you. Yeah. And they know how hard-headed and stupid men can be. Yeah, but I had other, I had other, <laughs> things, I had other I like things I needed to do. Well, you're still going to be able to do some of those things. Don't, don't move. Please. There you go. So what were you saying earlier? My nurse should have went and got these, right? Yeah. Well, he just wanted to your nurse holes. didn't know where they were. And I don't think your <laughs> expertise is in uh, This would have been fun strips. to do. I've never done these. Well, we'll have to teach you how to do them. Yes, you It looks like pretty simple. 
It does look pretty simple, by the way. That's, right. that That's only good. Yeah. If, you, if you could turn your hand back over, I'd get this last one on for you. <laughs> don't jab me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to jab you. Don't worry. There Dr. you Gilmore go. Dr. nice. Now, we're going to put a little dressing over this, and I want you just to leave it alone for a few days. These strips themselves, ladies, you do not have to remove. These will fall off on their own, okay? okay. No more antibiotic ointments. No more in dry. Just clean and dry is all I'm asking. Okay. And, and, and you know what? Uh, if you want to take the dressing off while you take a shower or something, that's fine. Just don't scrub on the hand or anything yeah. like that, okay? Yeah. All right. You did great, man. Thanks for letting us video. Okay. You're a pal, Snoopy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Closed up good enough. The other one's fine. We can just put a bandage over it. This that one just needed... One so deep. Yeah. Um, this one was probably tender, and he, you probably weren't as aggressive with it. Yeah, it was a little tender though. Yeah. Okay, so we're back with Brutus, right? <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling, Brutus? It's very painful, but I feel better. Yeah. Are you able to move your index finger at all? Uh, I don't even want to try. Yeah. A See, little. We've got some drainage coming out there. That's some pus. And uh, so that's a sign that uh, we may be, you know, increased risk for an abscess now. And you're taking your antibiotics, you said. Absolutely. And how's your pain? Um, on average, about a five out of ten. It's it's quite right okay. at the spot, very painful. And you tried the tramadol, and that didn't help that much, did it? It helped, but made me very sick. Oh, but it made you sick. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, made okay. me very very sick. All right, so we're still going to be real aggressive with this. This is just a little follow-up pick. This just shows everybody how dangerous a cat bite can be, because we're still not out of the woods on this. Yep. All right. So you have uh, you have an appointment with infectious disease coming up, right? Yep. Okay. So we're going to keep that, and we're going to need to do X-rays soon and check for osteomyelitis. And there's still the concern now for a septic joint. And we didn't mention that in the last video. So we're going to be on antibiotics for a while longer and continue to follow up closely with this. Thanks for letting us uh, do a follow up. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. We're going again, folks. We're back here with Brutus. And you can't see her face, but I'm going to tell you right now, she's got a big smile. Things are doing better, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now, wiggle your, wiggle your index finger. Getting a little better there, too. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice you still have a little redness in that area there, but it's, it's really significantly better. Can you feel the tip of your finger okay? Yes. The sensation seems normal? Yes, it is a little numb in throughout the joint. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a numb finger? No, definitely okay. not. Good. Has it, has it been draining anymore? Not so much. Not for a couple of days now. I think you're really responding well to that uh, augmentin. Good. Well, we wanted to get a follow-up. I think you're doing so well. This will probably be our last follow-up. Everybody's kind of been wanting to know how Brutus did and how things are. So I think we'll wrap this up now unless we have, you know, you know, something changed, but I doubt that'll happen. I think you're doing great. Just finish up those antibiotics. How about pain? Are you having a lot of pain still? It's or? so much better. It's a yeah. lot better. It's significantly better. Yeah, it's almost a one, maybe. It's, it's really not even pain. It's just a tingling sensation. Yeah. How many days out are we now? Um, uh, Seven, I believe. It's no, a little no, over, excuse is it two me. weeks? No, no, we're 10 days now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it was right, Friday. Right, yeah. It was last Friday. Okay, so 10 days out from a cat bite that got down, I think it probably, you know, got deep around a tendon there. Mm -hmm. So I think you're healing up just fine. So um, good work. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Get well. Bye. Yeah. Stay tuned for the Meta 7. I took mine today. How about you? Tell us about Meta 7. Uh, I like it a lot. I take it uh, when I drive to work in the morning, and during work, I feel like I have more energy. It, yeah. It works. I like it. Good. It's kind of like, you know how you kind of feel like a crash after like 10 o'clock in the morning? Right. You don't have that when I take it. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore, the proprietary mix of high-potency biotin extra virgin coconut oil and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chapped lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice, we'll put an Amazon link below, 
So get your 90-day supply today.